Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my top drugstore picks. I think I've done one of these before, but it was years ago. And so many of you have been asking me to do an updated one. Even people I'm meeting in the street are actually asking me to update this. So I thought it was about time I did that for you. It actually took me a really long time to whittle it down to my favourites, but I'm really happy with the selection that I've got and it's gonna take me a wee while to get through and the sun's just come out and ruined my lighting. It was literally grey and miserable right up until I pressed record and now the sun's out. Okay, there we go. Where do I start? I really love drugstore slash high street makeup. I think you can find some amazing things at a much, much lower cost. And actually a lot of these things are kind of holy grail staples for me, regardless of the fact that they are cheaper. So I will make sure to share those ones with you when I get to them. First thing I'm going to talk to you about is makeup brushes, because it's all very well having a bulging makeup bag with lots of amazing things to put on your face. But if you've got nothing to put them on with, is a little bit more difficult, although using hands is fine. So it may come as no surprise to you that the Real Techniques brushes make it into my top high street brushes. The one that I actually am obsessed with is this, which is their sponge. This thing is amazing. I think this is like my fifth one. I go through these like no tomorrow. They are so good. They give you such an even, um, but also high coverage depending on how you use it finish and I could not recommend this highly enough. Love this. They also have their bold metals brushes which are exclusive to Boots. These are my favourites. I love that these are so soft. They're a little bit more pricey than the kind of average range which you'll find in Superdrug and Boots and online. But these ones I just think look beautiful and I think if you have the budget to stretch to these I totally would. I know so many people who swear by these and I am one of these people. I'm not sure why I can't really see out of this eye. This one's fine. This one, not so much. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh God, <laughs> it's just gonna be one of those days. Next up is foundation. I have a lot of foundation in my little foundation drawer behind me, a lot of which are higher end. Having said that, there is one high street brand and I absolutely love their foundations and I use them regularly. In fact, I use these pretty much 50% of the time alongside my NARS Sheer Glow and it is the Rimmel Foundations. I love these foundations so much. I'm pretty sure each one of these has been in a favourites video of mine at some point. This one is the Wake Me Up Foundation. The next one, which I think I would say out of the three, is the one that I reach for the most. This is the Match Perfection Light Perfecting Radiance Foundation. The last one is definitely the heavier coverage of the three. This is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. For me, I think it's fairly obvious that Rimmel win hands down on the foundation front. For concealer, I have two that I am absolutely obsessed with. These are definitely holy grail items in my makeup bag, regardless of the fact that they are probably the cheapest uh, concealers that I own. So the first one is the L Collection Lasting Perfection. I don't even need to say anything about this. Everyone raves about this concealer. It's high coverage, it blends beautifully, it lasts well and it's just the best concealer ever. Next up is a new favourite of mine, and this is the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. This is beautiful under your eyes. It immediately makes you look like you have had the best night's sleep ever. It blends lovely, it blends lovely, it blends lovely. <laughs> it blends really well, and it lasts really well, and I really love it. It also smells of watermelon. How have I already been filming for 11 minutes? This is why filming videos for me is not as straightforward as you may think, because I just sit here and I ramble, and then when it comes to editing it, I wanna smash my head on the keyboard because I don't shut up. <laughs> for powder, I found this one a little bit more difficult because 
I'm definitely more of a high-end makeup powder kind of gal. Um, however, this one is one that I do use quite often and this is the Revlon Photo Ready uh, powder. It gives a really lovely coverage and it does make my uh, skin look really like flawless if that makes sense. So this one is definitely the one that I reach for the most in terms of uh, high street powder. In terms of contour, I have two to share with you. The first one is this one, which is the Collection Contour Highlight and Sculpt Kit. I think this made it into a favourites of mine quite recently. This is an amazing, amazing kit. The actual size of the product is great. I don't think you need to go any bigger than this, and any smaller I feel like would be a bit more difficult with your brush. But I just really like the colours, the shades work really really well and also the actual consistency of the product is really great, it's really pigmented and it's really cheap and really cheerful and it does the job really well. Another brand worth mentioning when it comes to contour is Sleek. Their contour kits are also amazing. I don't have a powder one for some reason, I think I either used it up or it broke so I got rid of it. Um, but I do have a cream contour kit which is which is newly released from them. I haven't used this too much but I just wanted to show you it because I have quite a few cream contour kits like this um, by much higher end brands and this is a really great dupe, look at that. And also just Sleek for the powder contour as well because Sleek is just really great at powder products. In terms of bronzer, there's definitely one brand that stands out over the others for me, and that is L'Oreal. I feel like L'Oreal get bronzers spot on. Recently a friend of mine asked me if there were any bronzers I could recommend from Boots or Superdrug, and I instantly was like, L'Oreal, hands down. And also the Body Shop, actually. I don't have any Body Shop bronzers at the moment, but the Body Shop do some really great bronzers for very fair skin. So if you're fair skinned, look in the Body Shop. But L'Oreal, I just love. This bronzer is so great. I love how it's huge. It kind of reminds me of the Estee Lauder and Clarins ones. And this one has a little teeny bit of shimmer. This would be perfect for holiday or for summer. And also just their little bronzers. I love this. This is also a holy grail product for me. I always use this. It's perfect for contour, but it's also just a lovely color. They just get the colors really well. They're not muddy and they look quite natural, like you really have got a bit of a suntan. So. I would highly, highly recommend you checking out L'Oreal for bronzers. Blusher-wise, I found this a little bit more difficult because I have so many blushes from the high street. First brand that actually stood out to me above any others um, isn't something that's sold in Boots and Superdrug currently, but they do sell online and uh, they have quite a lot of their own uh, standalone stores. There's a store in Brighton and it's Kiko. Really, really good value for money. These are the same price as other drugstore or high street products. And they just get blush so right. And they are so beautiful. This I've mentioned in so many of my favourites videos. It's gorgeous. This came out in one of their limited edition collections. This one is a more recent one. Um, the packaging is so cute. They do lots of different collections and bring out some really beautiful products within them. And this one is, this one's pretty recent. They might still have this one in store. This is the Baked Blush in 02 Gypsy Pink. They're so pretty. They also smell really great. Um, this is another one from one of their collections. This is the Blending Wave Multicolor Blush, two color blush really pretty colours and this is one of their like blusher bronzer or blusher and contour kits so I feel like if you can get to a Kiko store or if you can buy online I would definitely check them out for blush they have some really beautiful ones and my whole drawer is just full of them Two other brands that I really wanted to share with you that you can get in Boots and Superdrug is the Max Factor blushes. These are so pretty. This one is the Creme Puff Blush in Seductive Pink, which I've worn the most out of them. I've got a couple of these. They're just really, really nice. 
and also Sleek. Again, Sleek do some beautiful blushes. They have some really lovely blush palettes. They just, their powder products are really, really great. So I would definitely check those out if you can. Moving on to eyeshadows. Now you guys know how much I love eyeshadows. Um, so this bit was a bit more difficult. <laughs> a lot of my eyeshadow palettes are high end. So when I was going through my drawer, I was like, which, one, which ones of these do I use quite regularly and would I recommend to somebody who didn't have the budget for high end makeup? So these two are fairly similar, although I would say one is slightly more pricey, but the consistency of the shadows is different. So two palettes, both very similar. This one is, oh God, what have I done here? <laughs> this one is the 17 palette called Easy on the Eye. This one is the Sleek palette all night long. Sleek eyeshadows, if you want one eyeshadow palette from Boots or Superdrug, I would recommend Sleek. Sleek have some really great palettes with some really great shades and the actual eyeshadow is really really lovely and because I couldn't talk about eyeshadow palettes without mentioning my gorgeous friend Tanya Burr's new palettes which have just come out I had already seen these because she'd already shown them to me and I was so excited to get my hands on them Tanya's eyeshadows and I'm not just saying this because I'm biased Tanya's eyeshadows are beautiful in consistency kind of similar to oh they're just so creamy they're kind of similar for me to Stila eyeshadows and Stila eyeshadows are some of my favourites. Um, they just feel so easy to use and blend and the colours are gorgeous. This one is currently my fave. This is the Birthday Suit Eye Palette. Some really gorgeous shades in there and also there's just the cutest little mirror. So Tanya's eyeshadow palettes, which you can get in Superdrug. This is also another new one that she's come out with and this is the Enchanted Dream. I haven't opened this one yet, but Again, beautiful colours. In terms of slightly bigger makeup palettes though, I don't really know of any brands within the high street ranges that do something similar to Urban Decay or Too Faced. And technically you can actually purchase Too Faced and Urban Decay in a lot of boot stores. So I'm gonna show these in here anyway, but I think these are definitely more if you've got a bit more money to spend and you want one, big eyeshadow palette. I think it's definitely worth like walking that little bit of a distance over to the other counters in Boots and having a look at these. Eyebrows, this one again is a little bit more difficult for me because I tend to use a MAC um, matte eyeshadow and an angled brush to do my eyeshadow, to do my eyebrows most days. But um, anytime I've used a pencil, um, the two that I would definitely recommend to you is this one, which is the, oh it looks really manky at the moment. <laughs> is the Maybelline Brow Satin in medium brown. One end you have the pencil, which is the bit that I tend to use, and on the other end you unscrew it, and there's a little sponge with the kind of um, powder pigment in it. I don't really use that side, that side scares me a bit. And there's a dog barking outside that's gonna continue to bark. Okay, well I apologize for the dog. <laughs> because that ain't gonna stop barking anytime soon. So I could either sit here for an hour or carry on. <laughs> I'm gonna carry on. The other eyebrow pencil that I have loved and used for years is the Soap and Glory eyebrow pencil. However, I do not have one because I just ran out and as I was trying to look for it, I was like, damn it, I didn't buy another one. So that is also one that I really, really like. It is a little felt liner on one end and it has the tiny little pencil on the other and those are amazing. Liquid eyeliner. This one uh, is definitely my liquid eyeliner of choice when it comes to high street brands. And it is the L'Oreal Paris Super Liner Perfect Slim. Currently have two of these, not sure why. I think every time I go in, it's just one of those things I throw into my basket. It has a really fine pointed nib and basically this is how I learned to do a cat flick because I find it the simplest and easiest way to do it. So there we go. Mascara wise, this is going to be absolutely no shock to you whatsoever. I recommend this to everybody who needs a new mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational in Intense Black. Love it, love it, love it. 
I also wanted to add this one too because I love this one as well and if any of you have tried this and you didn't like it you might like this one this is the L'Oreal false lash sculpt um, and again this is just one that I use a lot and have repurchased many times I honestly think this could be like my 12th bottle of this whilst we're on eyes I thought it only right to mention some of my favorite lashes kiss no, they're the Ardell ones. Kiss lashes um, are amazing. I featured these in my favourites quite recently, so I'm not going to talk about those too much, but definitely check these out. And Ardell lashes, I love these. They just feel very natural and they look very pretty and fluttery and I've just never had a problem with these. Another thing that they now sell in Boots and I think Superdrug is Duo Glue. This is the best thing for applying eyelashes. It's so good and it's also covered in something from my makeup bag from holiday. <laughs> it normally comes in a squeezy tube that ages ago you could only buy from MAC or online. Um, so I'm very happy that you can now buy it in a little thing like this with a brush. So you can brush this along your fake lashes. Perfect. Very happy with that. <laughs> Shut up dog. Can you not hear your dog barking? It stopped. It stopped. Oh my god. Oh, it hasn't stopped. Lip liners! Okay, so I have two brands that are great for lip liners. We have Barry M. Barry M do amazing lip liners in amazing colours. Highly recommend. Another brand which will feature quite heavily in my lip section is NYX or NYX because they get lips so right and their lip liners are also amazing. They have really tiny, tiny little pointed uh, nibs which make it really easy to line your lips with and again every colour you could possibly imagine. I have quite a lot of nude colours and actually these look pretty much the same. In terms of lipsticks, this is going to be absolutely no surprise to most of you that I'm going to say the Kate Moss by Rimmel lipsticks. Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks. Um, these, again, are holy grail lipsticks for me. I absolutely love them. I don't tend to really buy any other high street lipsticks because I trust these, I trust the formulation, I know they're going to look great, I know they're going to last well, and the colours are all really, really good. I have a few variations here. I've got a dark nude, the infamous 107 dark berry red, it's beaut. I have a pink, this is number 35, really, really pretty. And a much more nudey pink, which is 38, which again is a holy grail lipstick for me. So if you need a lipstick, look no other place besides the Rimmel Kate Moss part. More recently I have been kind of obsessed with liquid lipsticks. It's pretty much all I have worn for like the past four months. So I thought it would only be right to feature some of my favourites from the high street. First up, NYX. This is just the only thing I've pretty much been wearing on my lips. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. It's beautiful, the consistency is lovely, it lasts really well. And then they also have these, which are the soft matte lip creams, which just feel a little lighter on the lips. So if you don't like the feeling of liquid lipsticks, you'll love these. So I've got this one in the shade London, and I have this one in the shade Copenhagen. Both very, very pretty. Another brand that do this really, really well are Revlon with these. These are kind of a new addition, and these are the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colours. They have lots of beautiful, beautiful shades. They feel lovely when you apply them, and they last really well. And then more recently, my friend Tanya released some which I have never been so excited about in my life. I haven't opened these two yet. I literally got them like two days ago. So I haven't opened these two, but this shade is Rhubarb and Custard, and this one is Puppy Paws, and these are a lot more pinky. And the one I actually have on today is this one, which is Martha Moo, which is a really beautiful pinky kind of nude, I guess. And I really, really like it. So thanks, Tan. Thanks for bringing those out. They're available in Superdrug. One last thing which I wanted to mention, which isn't technically makeup, but I feel like it falls under the same category. And 
is one of my holy grail things I will always buy and that is the Elegant Touch nails. I have some on today, they're like super pretty sparkly ones, I absolutely love them but they're just the best brand for stick on nails. You can get really fun ones, like I've got some flamingo ones or these ones which are just a really lovely matte kind of navy shade and then you can also buy plain ones in different shapes. So you've got these ones which are short oval or these ones which are the ones I generally tend to buy which is um, totally bare in square. You can file them down if you feel like they're too long. You can paint these any colour you want and they're just really easy to chuck on and they make having nice nails a lot easier. <laughs> I am now surrounded by a sea of makeup but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any other products that you would recommend to somebody from the high street, put them in the comment section below and then lots of other people can kind of take your recommendations on board. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you've had a really lovely weekend and I'll see you again very soon.